Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am testing out some new makeup. Now, I have all of this makeup here in this little uh, little box. So there's about 10 products that I'll be trying on my face that I've either tried only once before or I hadn't tried at all on my face. And I just want to see how they work, you know, kind of have fun with what I'm doing. This is how my face looks after applying all of this these products and let me tell you i think oh i forgot about these palettes so palettes are included in this box as well so i do love how my face looks let me just say that straight up but i won't be telling you anything else you just have to kind of um wait and see how i apply these things on my face but if you're interested in seeing oh how these uh products work on my face then just keep on watching Okay, so let's begin with base and I just purchased and it arrived yesterday the So So Dripping Gold but first base HD Skin Illuminating Booster and I have my one in the shade Caramel so this is what it looks like. So basically it's really just a kind of a very illuminating uh, well not even very illuminating just an illuminating base that is that creates a beautiful sort of um canvas on the skin because i used it just once yesterday because i couldn't resist myself and the foundation that i used it with was the clinique even better foundation the clinical one and you know i've mentioned that this foundation just um doesn't necessarily um wear off too gracefully whereas with this primer it just looked amazing so i have been you know the, the the one time that i used it i loved it so we'll see how it works today with a different uh foundation as well but so far it has been really really nice on the skin and it just makes the skin feel very soft it's a little bit tacky so you know it's a good base so yeah i you know i'm surprised that this works as well as it does because i did try so so products before and they weren't um the best especially her eyeshadows but her base products seem to be working fairly fairly well anyway the foundation that i'll be trying today it will be my first time ever ever i haven't tried this before this is the givenchy uh, matissime velvet radiant matte fluid foundation with sunscreen um so it's 20 spf so i have not tried that before it, it's going to be my first time the reason being is that um it was just too late and i did have a tan when i came back from ibiza so you know it wouldn't have worked so it's very liquidy because i can hear it kind of moving around so i'm gonna do two pumps and we'll see how that goes so this is the foundation yeah yeah it's a little bit runny and yeah yeah it might be a little bit too light but we'll make it work uh, somehow so first what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, apply it on a brush and then just start blending it out on my skin and then I'm going to take a beauty sponge apply just a teeny bit on the butt of it and start blending that out okay so i've just uh, stopped applying the foundation it's all blended in and this is how it's looking i have a kind of very natural glow to the skin but it's not overly dewy it, it seems a very natural um seems very velvety i must say i do really enjoy this foundation it has medium coverage because you can still see my spots right through you can still see my freckles and everything and yeah i do really like the way that this foundation is looking on my skin so far so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply concealer off camera and i'll be back to test out a new powder so the powder that i have to test out is this pat mcgrath uh fetish skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder i've used it a couple of times but it's still quite new in my uh collection so i said sure why not uh why not show you on camera how this uh looks this is a really really good powder but i don't know if it is worth 
the money you do get you don't get a lot of product because i think you only get like four or five grams of, of product so it's not the most amount of product but i do like the color i have my one in the shade light it seems to fit me very well and when i apply it underneath my eyes as you can see here it doesn't darken that area so it is just a very good um basic sort of um, translucent powder it's nothing special it's nice but i don't think i would have the heart to recommend it to you because of how expensive it is okay so now it is time for highlight and this is a brand new thing this is the dripping gold glow stick in the shade there's no shade but it is an illuminating highlighter stick now what does this look like to you let me show you it looks like this and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. It's much smaller, although both of them have the same amount of product. This has 12 mils, this has 12 mils. And I do really prefer the smaller packaging because there isn't that much air in it. So it is a floof ball, as you can see. It has the kind of twist and turn sort of um, system in place also so that the product doesn't leak out. And uh, let me just give you a swatch. Of how this looks so this is the cream highlighter I am absolutely loving that color it's so beautiful it is just stunning blends out to the skin looks like skin and it's just very kind of looks very seamless on the cheeks so what I'm going to do is I am going to just draw teeny bit like that on my cheek and then I'm going to take my sponge and blend it out and it blends out in seconds it doesn't leave um, from what I can see it doesn't leave any kind of doesn't pick up on my foundation it just looks very gorgeous and very natural and you can see that there boom 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 couple of um, couple of um, bounces and that is blended out it's really really lovely so i'm going to put a little bit on my nose as well blend that out and that's done it just looks very natural and very gorgeous ah this is such a good product from dripping gold from sosu whatever she has so many brands now that i uh, don't know but you know it looks Stunning. So, continuing on with the cheek products, I have this mini uh, Dripping Gold Make Me Blush Cream Blush Stick. I'll give you a swatch of that. So, this is what it looks like a beautiful, sort of pink, peachy color. Very, very creamy. You would not believe how creamy that is. And this is what it looks like blended out. It's very sheer, I must admit. I do like my blushes to be a little you know have a little bit of an oomph uh, this one is very sheer but it does look quite stunning on the cheeks so let me just show you what I do is I just draw and then I what do I do I wanted a brush but I think I'm just gonna go ahead with oh yeah I do have a brush this one and I just go ahead and blend this bad boy out and this is what it looks like blends out very easily as well because of how creamy the formula is now again it's not super pigmented but then again that's fine as well because you don't necessarily want it to be you know clownish uh but it just leaves a little bit of a color on the cheeks without picking up the foundation underneath and it just sort of looks very fresh so um because i don't have a new contour stick i don't have a new powder blush powder bronzer i'm going to apply all of those things off camera not to waste time and then i'll be back to uh test out a powder highlight for you and i'm looking a little bit funny because i actually did my brows as well just to save time uh but the highlighter that i want to try out is this is this estrade highlighter now this is 
I received it from a friend. Uh, this is apparently very popular in Russia, so I wanted to give it a try. There's actually right in here in Russian as well, so very interesting. So I have my highlighter brush. I'm going to load that up and just get my little mirror here. I'm going to tap it out and I'm going to apply this highlighter on my face oh, it's very subtle like very 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 subtle but it does look quite glowy so i am liking that this so i've never tried it but this sort of reminds me of the essence pure nude highlighter that everyone got their hands on except me although i had seen it many times in the stores i was just like this is not for me. This is not for me. And I regretted that decision because now it's not available in Europe. So, yeah. This is really nice. It's a very subtle though. So, if you're into kind of um, more satiny, well, less of blinding highlights, then maybe this is for you. I need to swatch it here. Here we go. So this is what the highlighter looks like. You see, it is glowy, but it's like a glow with from within sort of uh, look. There you go. Which is very popular at the moment, I have to admit. And it's something that uh, I've been kind of getting into, especially with me panning the uh, Benefit Dandelion highlighter, which is, again, a baked formula that's very subtle. So, you know, it's something that I am... Um, that I like, that I've been trying to love, you know what I mean? I'm not there yet, but I'm slowly tiptoeing into actually getting into subtle uh, highlights. Okay, so now it is time for eyes. So let me zoom you in. I am going to put on some, oh, my light went out. I'm going to put on some music and uh, yeah, you can just enjoy watching me apply some eyeshadows. And actually, I was going to say, I'm going to use the Viseart palette. And this is the Cool and Matte palette. So this is what that bad boy looks like. So we're just going to play around with some of these, uh, these beautiful tones. So yeah, zoom in and let's do it.
guys so that is the eyes done i have a kind of very sultry purpley eye with some orange on my lower lash line oh my god the viseard freaking palette is so easy to work with i mean i've heard that viseard shadows are amazing but i did not think they were that amazing they are super soft and just a blend out really really easily like even this dark shade i mean i don't know if you'll be able to see but just wow we blend out really easily and you know purples are not the kind of you know most easiest um eyeshadows to formulate but this blended out like a dream so that you know i'm just so stunned the purples worked very well so i'm just going i'm just very curious as to how the other shades work i mean the cool tones and the neutrals probably worked will work very well we're kind of interested in these uh blues so maybe hopefully i'll be able to try that out very soon and then i also in the middle of my look pulled out the uh juvia's place the violets uh palette because i wanted a little bit of sparkle and i ended up using this shade now the formula is kind of different it the the shimmers feel thick right but when you blend them out they blend out like really really nicely like just sort of an ethereal glow and yeah i i really do like it and i do like it on my eyes because this sparkle is absolutely freaking amazing so before i started to do my eyeshadow though i remembered that i was supposed to try this out so this is the dripping gold reset and refresh perfecting face mist so I'm just going to use it now. Let's hope that my eyeshadow is not going to be ruined. And look at the inside. It's very reflective. Really lovely packaging from Sosu. Really impressed with that. So let's just uh, set our face. It smells really nice. The mist is okay. It's not too bad, but it does kind of squirt out a little bit. So, you know, <laughs> you do have to be careful not to ruin your makeup so let me just take a look that everything is still in a place that nothing is ruined i'm really loving my base it's a very kind of just velvety and looks very natural to be honest i know i'm wearing a ton of makeup like and i am such a rudolph now with this very highlighty um nose but yeah it just looks like skin it looks really lovely i'm really loving that so the last thing to try out from my little basket of things are lips so i have two things to try out i have a lipstick from fenty these are the uh, slip shine sheer shiny lipsticks and i have my one in the shade 04 make out a break so it is a beautiful oh wow jesus they're so sheer though i was not expecting that i mean i do remember people telling that you know they're sh they're creamy but i don't remember it being so sheer anyway okay and then i have this abh gloss and i have my one in the shade peachy so let's just give this one a go oh my god they're like literally the same color but the anastasia one has more shimmer to it i think these would go very very well together so what i'm going to do is i am going to quickly line my lips with my project pan lip liner which is too small this is the k-lips lip liner in the shade uh desert something i don't remember i don't remember let me take a look because i seriously forgot is it desert sand is it desert sand what is it called magic desert there we go so although i need a mirror so i'm just going to quickly align my lips this lip liner just doesn't want to die i've been sharpening it and sharpening it think like because it's so so tiny like look at this it's such a noob uh i will you know use it one more one more time because i do have some product there left but i won't be sharpening it anymore because i just don't see the point anyway back to these makeup break a lipstick let's apply that mm. that is so comfortable guys
and it's very shiny. I do like that. I like that formula and I do like that color mixed in with that lip liner. Probably on its own it would have looked a little bit better, a little bit more nude, but gotta make it work. Mwah. I do like it. I enjoy it. So now for the gloss in peach, peachy, Jesus, some of that gloss fell on my leggings. That's fine. That's fine. I do have a washing machine so I can, you know, wash the, 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 the clothes. So let's just apply that. Oh, very shiny. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. I guess once it's blended out into the lips, it's not a bad color, but I do. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. I think I have a feeling this is going to be in a project pan called Partners in Cream soon. So, yeah, but other than that, that is it for my makeup today. We tested out a good freaking array of things. So, we tested out, uh, let me count it, okay? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten products on my face today, and this is the result that I have. Beautiful purple eyeshadow, really uh, naturally looking uh, base, like no artificial shine to it, but also it doesn't look cakey. It has medium coverage. I've been loving it. My cheeks look very nice as well. They're a little bit more pigmented than um, I prefer. But I guess that's gonna wear off as the day goes on. And yeah, I don't have any duds, honestly. Mm, maybe it's except that lip gloss. That lip gloss is just okay. I will use it up. It's not my favorite. All their products have worked out really well for me today. So I am super excited about that. And I'm super excited to pull these things into my shop, my stash soon as well. To kind of, you know, test and, test them out more thoroughly for you. And, you know, put them into my speed reviews. Because I'm not going to do that after just one try. But that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed uh, me testing out some new products to me, then please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.